Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I have to drink water because my throat is gonna be like blah, blah, blah. Anyways, in this video I wanna talk about my top five, probably my top five, it's really hard to choose, but my top five um, inspirational uh, drum records, I guess, from when I was growing up and playing drums to when I'm now like established drummer, I don't know what to call it, but uh, very inspirational uh, drum records for me at least and uh, it's funny because it's quite it started off quite different to what I, where I am now let's start with number one this album actually yep like any other seven, eight, nine year old kid I really love this album and uh, it's funny because I first time I heard it my cousin actually brought us this band when I was around seven, eight years old. So uh, they brought my brother this album and my brother listened to it and he liked it and he showed it to me. And uh, I thought it was kind of funny, I remember. I remember so well that the first time I heard Jonathan doing his scat thing, you know, this like... Uh, this, was, this is actually one of the first albums I ever bought. Uh, and uh, I bought it like in when I was in uh, first grade or something. David Severia was, a real, was probably the first guy to get me into drums. Korn, first album, really the first thing that got me into metal. Next album, album number two, is got to be this one. And this is a vinyl, but it's the Opeth, My Arms Your Hers album. Probably, one of my most listened to albums by Opeth ever. Um, this is the first album that Martin Lopez played on, and man, can he play drums. Uh, he, he's a real inspiration for me, and when I first got into Opeth, I was so amazed by Martin's ability to play both fast and like slow, jazzy stuff. So I was really like, wow, this guy can do anything. And I wanted to be just like that. Uh, today, I'm not really like that yet, but I'm working on it. All right. So my arms are hers. Opeth, really great album. Next up, we have another beast, but not by the same. Bloodbath, the Nightmares Made Flesh album. This is one of their best. The drumming is what uh, stands out, I guess, for me as a drummer at least. Uh, I still can't play these songs properly today, but uh, Axe is apparently a beast and he's, he's a strong blast beater and strong double bass guy. You know, he's not the kind of guy who just taps the drums, he kind of he plays the drums and he really gets into it. And uh, you can see when he blast beats, you can really hear that he's, even though it's kind of hard just naturally to hear the snare drum in a fast blast beat, you can hear it as much as it's possible as a human, as a human being strength can do. And uh, that's what I like about the blast beats from Axe, because it's really like, there's not, no like triggers on snares and uh, you know, just natural strength, human strength blast beat. Blast beat. And uh, that's what I try to achieve when I play as well. I'm just gonna just look out. So, Bloodbath, Nightmares Met Flesh is number three. And now we have another one, which is... Uh, shit, I forgot one, wait. Ugh. All right, number four is gonna be another Opeth album, Deliverance. This is uh, one of the most listened to albums by me as well. And this is one of the first I bought, not on vinyl, I, bought, I have it on CD too. But I bought it on vinyl because it's fucking beautiful. And uh, it's, uh, you know, the song Deliverance by itself, I have probably listened to it about one million fucking times because it's so fucking good. And it's the first song I heard by Opeth. Also, thanks to my cousins for bringing me this band. Uh, it's a fucking masterpiece, and the drums are 
once again Martin Lopez, so fucking good. Uh, I really love the way he can play fast and slow at the same time. Uh, not the same time, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, Opeth Deliverance, really fucking good album. Very inspirational for me as well. I still want to play Deliverance one day, but I can't do that right now because my double bass sucks. Next. Uh, okay. I don't know what this album is, but uh, Wretched Fate, Flesh Letting. I'm not sure about it. I guess it's good stuff, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, moving on. Fuck. I'm so angry about this one because it's broken as hell, but Catatonia's Discouraged Ones. Believe it or not, but this is a very nice album. In the beginning of my drumming, I had played a lot to this album simply because the drums are very easy. <laughs> very, like, you know, standard 4-4 four, four beats. And uh, it's very easy to practice. And as a beginner, that's exactly what you need to do. It got teared up like this, as you can see. And that made me really fucking angry. But, uh, you know who you are, who did it, but... <laughs> Anyways, yeah. That's a shame, it is, even though it's a really, really, really like dark and uh, very uh, blue album. It's, uh, it's also when you listen to it and you start to finally appreciate it, it becomes a masterpiece. So, Caletone has the Scourge ones, for sure. Grab it. My top five, probably top five, it's really hard to choose, as I said, probably top five albums for drumming and for listening to. They are great. And uh, the drummers, I mean, Martin Lopez, he's always gonna keep on inspiring me, I think, when I listen back to all those records. And uh, he's always gonna be my, at least like one of my biggest inspirations for drumming, my own drumming. So I hope I can reach his, his kind of diversity one day. Let's see. Anyways, if you checked out this video, thanks, and uh, maybe I'll do more of this. I have, I could do more because I have a lot of albums I want to talk about. Uh, so now I'm gonna shut this video off, and uh, maybe I'll see you again, or maybe not. Bye.